goddamn cop lookalikes. What's up, guys? So it's your boy Angel Saucy, and I know it's been a while. Look, my hair even grew out. Uh, I can't even tell, but I've been working on something. I'm gonna show you guys pretty soon. Um, other than that, I have no idea. Let's get the day started. This is whack. So I thought today was gonna be a good day, so I came to TJ Maxx to get some sugar belts, but they only got these. I have no idea what this is. It's a sour strawberry belt. Same thing, different taste. Ah, I mean, same name, different taste. Like, usually I get them in a little plastic box that they come in, either like strawberry or rainbow and stuff, but, or whatever, but like this time they did not have it, and I'm freaking mad. Ah. I have no idea what it is with this wheel, but it always keeps on getting ran over. Like, a curb, you know, that's from a, you know, curb. That's from a curb right there. And that new little spot area is also from a curb, but it just got a brand new trim of pole. So, that's amazing. Uh, plus, I still haven't put this back on because I'm still waiting to drill new holes because this one right here will not do it. That little guy cannot hold it and it just flops out. So, <sighs> tiny wing. Uh, sponsorship. To celebrate my newly found beauty mark, I, I was going to say I was going to celebrate with a plate of pizza and ice cream and some sauce to accompany me that but I have found hear me out I have found something else that I have stumbled across look at this here it is oh boy I can't wait to show you guys this card oh my gosh I just brought it home just the other night and look at this it's my 1997 Volkswagen Jetta GL with the four cylinder okay I did not get the V6 so I got the four cylinder look at how sick this car looks oh it turns me on kind of not really in the state that it's in right now it definitely catches my eye I'm like yes this is awesome but I do want to modify it. I do want to make it a whole lot better. There are little things that I want to change and modify. But so far, this is its condition. So, we get the license plate that's on there back on here with the right hardware. Uh, Jetta Geo, everything's nice. It does have a big dent right there. Uh, Jetta Springfield Edition, awesome third brake light. When I bought it, it did come with an extra 10 millimeter gear wrench and some extra bolts. Look, my uncle d does not approve, but this thing's a beast. Let me take you guys around through. I will show you the defects first and then the luxury items. So, you know, of course, dent. Um, this trim pieces are missing, but I do have them in the trunk. Uh, let's see. This, uh, to get into the car is uh, troublesome. So, all right, it does come with, uh, you know, theft protection. I am missing, this is, this is kind of crusty right here, around here. Wipers, kind of, also. This right here is kind of wobbly. Mm, I am missing those. Crack right here. Missing on this side, also. <laughs> missing a mirror. Uh, everything is good. Gas cap is a little dented. Let's hop over to the inside. There's a dent there. Hop over to the inside step inside um, other than it's you know a little dirty but in well condition uh, shift thing keeps turning as much as it can but I'll leave it there because it looks fancy 
All right, cool. Now that I've shown you all that. Oh, radio doesn't work. It's all busted and everything. I am missing the plastic part that goes around there. Don't know if this car was stolen, but uh, as I know for now, it. I think these are original. 64,000 miles, original miles. Engine doesn't look worn. Now, let me show you all the luxury items that come with the Springfield. So, first, let me hop on back here. Boom, to the trunk. Look at this, I got a freaking super wide bed right here. Plus, I could drop down those seats right there and make it even bigger. Look at this, boom, fancy. Close this. I already mentioned it came with a free wrench. Plus, look at these giant speakers. We come over here to the front. Look at these cushiony, awesome, uh, what is this? And it's not leather, but it's the other thing. Mmm, cotton? No, it's not that. Uh, soft, cushiony, couch type material. Look at this. Ooh, we step in here. Luxury. Boom, close the door to get the full effect. Luxury. Volkswagen German luxury. We got a radio station that doesn't work. Mm, an antenna that does nothing. Alright, so over here we got climate controls. AC that doesn't work. We got a blown AC line, my uh, my uh, suggestion. No mirror. Um, all right, other than the cloth seats, those seats go down. Um, amazing center console, spacious luxury item. And able to fit one hydro flask, not two, but one hydro flask in here. Broken rear cup fold holder. Small cup holders in the front able to fit one phone and all the way in the back in the compartment one wallet this I'm pretty sure it's broken uh, I mean it works to charge phones but like on the trip back it kept my phone in the same charge but at least at least it kept it alive um, I'm missing this part missing this part missing this part uh, it is a five speed manual no four speed automatic here Look at that, three pedals, one, two, three. It comes with all around weather floor mats, amazing, right? Manual window come downs, you know. Boom, faster going down, slower going up, you know, just in life. Um, no AC, I already said that. Come back out, let's go check the engine. Like I said, this was a four banger. Coming in with a whopping 115 horsepower, the 2.0 naturally aspirated Volkswagen Leader engine producing as much horsepower as my bike, but almost three times, four times maybe heavier. My bike is like 500 pounds. This is like 2,500 pounds, 2,600 pounds about there. But, uh, just imagine all the things you could do with a two-cylinder, you know, force, I mean, four-cylinder, 2.0 liter engine, you know, basically anything. It's lighter than the, than the V6 engine that it comes with, you know. This battery was not tied down at the time of purchase. Literally, it was slid all the way back there. But now, sturdy as a rock. I'm shaking the whole car. I do need to top off oil. I need to change change the oil top of coolant and all the little things you know uh, spider webs here and there you know a normal car you know uh, the guy probably didn't want to take care of it but you know I'm gonna take care of it so when I filled up the AC it blew out from over here one of the AC lines so we'll fix that <sighs> four cylinder 2.0 I think I forgot to mention while I was inside comes with luxury sunroof look at this thing come up come inside here amazing ambulance noises close the door no more ambulance noises we look up top we close it we open it we close it back up and it opens a spoiler and yes, it does go back all the way. I just didn't want to, you know, bore you guys. But 
goes down, locks, boom. You're looking at the stars, you're not looking at the stars no more. You're getting hit by the sun, you're not getting hit by the sun anymore. Cool, comes with, uh, you know, lights, you know, boom, 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 lights all around, and uh, power lock, boom. Locked, I'm locked in here. I'm not locked in here anymore. Ambulance noises. Cool, so I am pretty much, pretty much showed you everything, you know, AC, recirculating AC, defroster. That's the, you know, baggy area, you know. Oh, car, come on. Headlights, turn on, turn off. Oh, <gasps> what? This is a brand new noise. All right, let's turn that off. And I don't know if you noticed this already, but it is lowered on Raceland coils. You can't see them in there. Boop, boop. And Raceland coils, you can tell by the green. Awesome. Sport package stainless steel rims. Paint matched to go with the black trimming. Oh, that's not black. Okay, to go with the aesthetic look. They were silver, but now they're black. And you know, little dents here and there. But all in all, amazing car. I did want something else uh, so that I'm not beating on my Subaru over there. Other than all the necessities and everything that comes wonderfully with the car, I topped it off with some 5W30 oil for now, for the time being, until I could get an oil change in um, done to it. And I filled the tires with air, especially that one because I think that one is leaking. It was the droopiest one of them all. But I did that, set tire pressure. The other two tires look good. This one looks good. That one looks all right. Until I could get some new wheels and tires mounted on this car. For now, that's set. Oil change. I will be doing the maintenances soon. So if you guys want to see those, I'll post them. If not, I'll just do them off camera and then come back and be like yeah I just did the freaking engine but other than that it's a beast I like it I hope you guys like it and we'll see how the build comes along okay and if I hope you guys stick around and hopefully we'll like show this car off to like eliminate or something but let's do it I don't think you guys are ready yet but we're going to be taking the jet out for a ride and I'm going to show you guys a quick little clip of me taking it for a ride. Plus, I also got the first mod to install and that's this. And let me just pop this bad boy in here just like that. Oh, Jesus. Ah, just like that. Boom. Now, we got it smelling like a Ferrari. Alright. You guys want to hear it start it up? Here she goes. Oh yeah, turn the lights on. Oh yeah, this, this is my first time seeing it at night with the lights on. It looks awesome, green everywhere. Uh, just there, there. And um, over here, only one side works. I guess the other side doesn't work. But that's fine, we only need the RPM side, am I right? It is shaking a little bit. I don't know if it has a misfire, but I'm pretty sure it's fine. I'll replace all that pretty soon. So let's head out on our drive. Come to think of it, I know this car doesn't have radio, so why don't I bring my speaker with me to listen to tunes? Oh my gosh. Uh, it's okay, I'll just play music in my head. All right, let's go. Awesome. Hopefully the uh, hopefully the video comes out all stabilized. I'm using this headband from GoPro that I bought, and uh, hopefully it's all like nice and centered. Everything is fine. 
nothing is out of shape. But yeah, we're driving the car. My headlights look crooked so much. Like my left, my driver headlight is like pointing at the ground and my passenger headlight is like pointing over there like if I have crooked eyes. But uh, we're driving around San Jose just uh, chilling and stuff. Look at the beautiful view that we have over here to the left, to the left of me. Beautiful, oh my gosh. That's the San Jose Stadium over there for the earthquakes. That's the airport, oh, beautiful. So, I'll let you guys look at that for a little bit longer while I try to keep my eyes on the road, keep my eyes on the road, nothing. Boom, this would be a great straightaway for me to just like race somebody. But in my Jetta, I don't think so. I don't think I'm gapping anybody soon. So, yeah, we're taking this car out. We might take some pictures. It's all cool. I'm in fifth gear chilling at around 35, 3200 RPMs, 33. Fuel, I think I'm doing pretty good. That, that is from driving it all the way back from Sacramento and still around. And that was like a total of like a hundred and something, 130 or 150 miles that I drove. And this car is doing great on gas. I only filled it up once all the way over there. Uh, it was like $50. It was like empty basically. Like the last owner didn't give me any gas at all. So that was fun. Plus guys prices are like skyrocketed right now. So, so yeah, we're taking this car out on a cruise hopefully the camera's not pointed too high up or anything and i'm gonna have to gap this kid over here to my right gapped him awesome now i'm gonna have to i can't see anymore now i'm gonna have to go straight and gap this person to my left Woo! gapped him now we're gonna have to merge with the yellow car right here next to me I'm not gonna gap him because I don't have the power. <laughs> I don't have the acceleration power to catch up and beat him over there, so I won't. Look at this guy. Zooming. Everything's going pretty good. Everything's going pretty good. Hopefully this GoPro doesn't like act as a as a form of you know invitation of race me kind of vibes, you know? Hopefully it doesn't because you know I don't have the power to do so. But it would be nice if people believe that I do have the power. Oh, I have a check engine light. What is happening? All right, I gotta pull over. Check engine light. So from just stopping here, I I, uh, I could feel like the check engine light could be a misfire because it feels like the car is misfiring. So I'm gonna bring it home. Uh, hopefully bring it into the shop tomorrow and see if I can get that check engine light fixed. Plus, no, I'll, I'll drive it home and then put it on the scanner to see what kind of, you know, misfire that is or whatever. But yeah, now we're gonna be like urban street driving. So, this is awesome. So far, I can't smell my little air freshener. I mean, it is working. It's at the, yeah, it's at the max setting, I think. So, I'm just gonna leave that leave that there hopefully everything works out for it and we're heading on home so let's get out of here it does have little minor scrapes I have no idea if that's like well I do know it's cuz like it's lowered and it's got like loose fender liner so yeah we're gonna get that fixed buddy and this misfire that I have awesome also, if you guys haven't noticed, it does look like my car <laughs> needs an alignment. This Jetta also. Like, uh, right now I'm going straight on the road, but the steering wheel is like all sideways. So, yeah. This car for sure is a fixer-upper. Funny story. So, I, I bought the car, right? And at the time... Uh, you know, I was just talking with the guy and he was like, I paid more for the For the registration than I paid for the whole car and I was like, how much is the, was the registration? And I was like six and he said Six hundred dollars and I was like, I'm buying this car for for 2k You're selling me for 
and you're saying you bought it for less than six hundred dollars you fucking scam my guy so uh but yeah so let's say he bought it for six hundred dollars and he bought registration for six hundred dollars that's twelve hundred dollars plus he probably had it for like a little bit and he had to like modify some things and you know make it all right so i think if you add you know labor and what he did and carry it all then 2k for the car is all right then if there are any volkswagen enthusiasts out there i'll make sure to freaking note down little stuff like you know tips and tricks just to help you guys out i know there's not a lot of videos out there about like mark 3 uh jettas typically because i tried searching them up i I tried searching them up and being like, you know, how do you, uh, you know, what kind of cool Jettas are out there? And then, you know, it gave me like some, it gave me an awesome wagon, which makes me want a Mark IV wagon in the 1.9 diesel. But like, I couldn't find one for cheap that was in very good condition. So uh, I came across this one. I really wanted a Jetta just to recreate a like a. Uh, fast and furious car type area but you know so far it's going eh other than that I think I'm gonna close out the video here with the check engine light on I'll resume it back next video and I'll update you guys everywhere I go with this car so you guys could stay informed other than that I'll catch you guys on the next one check engine light out peace